for people who haven't seen it yet, you and Coach Lyra are pretty close. Like, how'd that relationship happen, and, and what's it like being uh, being friends with him? Uh, it happened. I can't remember the year, but we we're at Southern Illinois having some, having some dinner, and a young lady walked in, and um, next thing you know, she's my future wife, and mm-hmm. and uh, you know, she knew him, and and uh, she was his tutor in college. Yeah. And um, and then that, I think the next year. My, she, she was teaching, and his son, his oldest son, CJ, was in her class. Okay. So there's a big history there. So um, he and I, every time we get a chance to spend some time together, we do that. Yeah. Uh, at your position, you've got a couple of guys, you know, n- technically non-scholarship guys, but Tyler Burns was on scholarship a year ago. Harry mm-hmm. Trotter, you know, played, you know, Division One football. How are they looking for you so far? You know, they're, they're doing a good job. Um, really working hard on understanding the offense, uh, working hard and, and trying to get them this comfortable – understand the offense and and doing the little things by taking the first two steps having good eyes and learning the offense that way that that way their natural ability can take over i think most people think maybe james gilbert is head and shoulders above everybody else in that position is that really what it's like well i think his playing experience puts that tag on him you know and those other guys are working just as hard as he is uh, you can see he has some natural running back ability because he's played in games and he's run some similar plays that we've run here offensively before so he has a really good understanding of what we're doing but like I said you know right now those guys are working hard and they're in um, in the room together and they're all doing a great job of being good teammates and helping each other out so that's the thing I want to see more than anything I'm not worried about who's one who's two who's three just learn get better every single day we talked about getting this much better every single day and uh, we can't whip the world's ass in one day so we're going to continue to work hard and, and do the base fundamental things first in this offense what's ideal in terms of how many running backs would be getting regular carries oh I think it all depends on the game week by week um, who's healthy uh, what's their skill set um, I think the biggest thing right now is just continue to push those guys to learn the offense so now they can play multiple positions uh, I think that's important. So now when you're going two tailbacks in the game, maybe three tailbacks in the game, guys can split out wide, play play some receiver, uh, use them in the jet sweep game and those kind of things. So it's all about the skill set and, and then how much they can learn. What are your general thoughts just on the fullback position? Some programs use it a lot. Some have kind of moved away from it. Just what are your thoughts on that spot? Oh, I've, I like playing with a fullback. Yeah. I think, you know, a lot of teams in the country don't play with a fullback. I think it's a, it's a unique position um, because he's got to be able to do both. He's got to be an offensive lineman, and he's got to be a tight end, and he's, and he's got to be some type of a tailback because he's got to play with vision sometimes because some of the run game, he has to insert himself like a tailback would. Right. So uh, I like running behind a fullback. I think it gives the guys a bigger picture of what they're seeing up front uh, and it, it helps tremendously the offensive line so if he's coming through and he can see he sees an off-color jersey he can help that out and double bump that and and uh, help in the run game. 